Namaste and welcome back to Awakening Heart Yoga with Prima Loka. So today I have another sequence for you and we're going to mainly flow through the whole of the sequence. Excuse me if it's slightly hard to hear me, I'll do my best, I'll keep the volume um, raised slightly. Um, Ireland is experiencing um, Storm Ophelia at the moment which is really giving us quite a um, pounding our shores and the rest of Ireland. So anyway, I'd like to ask you to come back into Vajrasan and close the eyes. Draw the navel in towards the spine. Ease the shoulders away from the ears. Focus on the sound and length and depth of your inhalation and exhalation. Focus on the prana entering and leaving the body in waves, waves of energy. Fully connect with the energy as it enters and leaves the body. Feel that with it comes a sense of grounding, calm, a sense of balance being brought to the body through the energy being taken in and released from the body. Just spend a moment in awareness of releasing anything within the body that no longer serves you on an emotional or a physical, a mental level. Just spend a moment Inhale, bring that calm, earth, balanced energy. And exhale, something in particular which you no longer wish to keep within you, no longer want to hold on to. Release it now. Exhalation, opening the eyes out along the mat in front of you and dropping the arms down by the sides. The spine is straight, the navel is engaged, and we're going to start to move. Inhale, coming all the way up onto the knees, push the hips forward, arch back. Exhale, draw the navel in, float all the way down, salutation, forehead to the floor. Inhale, slide the hands back and come up into this arched cat. And then float through on that one inhalation, the cat extension, tuck the toes under. Exhale, up to Samira Asana. Inhale, all the way up onto the toes. Exhale, rock back onto the heels. Feel as you little gentle bouncing motions as you rock back. Feel the torso tilt as you push back through the hips. Rotate the tailbone slightly towards the sky. Feel the navel concave back towards the belly. Deep inhalation and exhalation. And now we're going to lift the right leg and we're going to flow it all the way in. So we're going, what we're going to do is we're going to transfer a little of our body weight as we pick up and lift the leg and start to flow it forward into the right side of the body to prepare 
the left side of the body to be able to lift slightly to take this leg we're striding through. So inhale, lift and sweep the right leg through. Once we're here, I tend to just pick up the back foot, curl the toes and just push down. It's almost like an inch back a little and give this leg a chance to straighten up from the knee through to the ankle. If that doesn't feel like it's going to happen for you today, then just feel free to have the heel eased further back towards the groin. Only have it at this nice sort of 45 degree angle if that's going to work for you. Then placing both hands, one at the knee, one at the heel, and raise the gaze to the sky. Tilt the head back a little, and then exhale, forehead to the floor. Inhale, coming back up. And now we are going to bring the heel all the way back in towards the groin, and we come down in this nice pigeon pose here. Feel that you soften, soften through the hips. Feel a nice stretch through the adductor muscles and opening through the hips. This is a really good preparatory pose for Hanumasana, the yogic splits. To spend a little bit of time in this and a great hip opener. And now we're going to lift up the back leg. Take hold behind the ankle and draw the leg back. Lift the gaze to the sky. Release the right hand. Draw it out in front of you as you draw the left heel back towards the buttocks. And then releasing back down to the ground. We're going to inhale now. A little bit of length to the spine. Exhale and we're going to push up and find ourselves back in mountain. Inhale, lifting the right leg, striding forward. Exhale, push off the back foot, back foot joins the front foot, draw down. Inhale, all the way up, arch back. Exhale, float all the way forward. And we're staying with the left leg, we're dropping the left leg back in a deep lunge. Transfer the body weight to the left hand, lift the right, open all the way up through the heart space and then drop the hand back behind you and the gaze follows back towards your extended right hand. Open up through the hips and then exhale, drop the right hand back down, lift the left hand to the sky and follow it with your gaze. Open up a little, bringing it back. Continuing to follow with the gaze. And then exhale, both hands down on the ground. Inhale, absolute to the moon. Drop the knee all the way down to the ground if it feels good. Arch back. Exhale, flow all the way forward. Drop the knee to the ground. Push all the way back. Sitting over the heel and draw the head down towards the knees. Inhale and exhale here. And then on the next inhalation, we're pushing all the way back up again. Coming back to the equestrian pose, push off the front foot, find yourself back in Sumera Asana, all the way up onto the toes. Tilt and rotate the tailbone, drop to the knees, and Exhale all the way back into extended child. And I'm going to ask you to pause and extend a child. Come to your breath. Come to Brahmadhyaya, the space between the eyebrows. Focus all your energy and concentration at this third eye area. And take three deep inhalations and exhalations with all your focus and concentration at the area Brahmadhyaya in between the eyebrows.
and then letting go of this now and on the next inhalation coming all the way back up to Vajrasana or Vajrasana sitting over the heels once again once you're up have taking a deep inhalation and exhalation drawing the navel in so that the core is engaged dropping the shoulders down away from the ears tucking the chin in towards the pit of the throat and we're going to prepare to move we're going to inhale all the way up onto the knees push the hips forward arch back exhale draw the navel in come all the way down inhale rolling cat through the cat extension tuck the toes under find yourself in Sumera asana all the way up onto the toes a little bit of bouncing here and then back down to the heels we're just this sort of gentle rocking as we rotate the tailbone up towards the sky so this time we're striding through with the left foot so the body weight starts to move towards the the left hand side or the left hand preparing us to know that we're going to have to lift up the right slightly as we bring the left foot forward remembering that if it doesn't come down at this nice 45 degree angle don't worry at all if you end up more in pigeon pose so now we're going to inhale and we're going to float through and bring ourselves down into the start of a pigeon pose when we get here i just push back slightly if my foot wasn't at a nice 45 degree angle and i bring the angle in don't be afraid to bring the heel in closer to the groin if that's more comfortable for you and then bringing the hand one to the knee and one to the heel and arching up and then floating all the way forward coming all the way back up again and drawing the heel in towards the groin coming into this nice pigeon pose good stretch for Hanumasana coming all the way up float all the way forward popping ourselves back up again and I'm going to lift up the back leg take hold of it with both hands and draw the back foot back towards the back of the room and lift the gaze towards the sky that other forward bend in here releasing now coming all the way forward as I draw the heel in towards the buttocks and then releasing the foot as I come all the way back up straightening through the spine arching back a little Placing the body weight into both of my hands. Now as I start to move forward, I'm going to tuck the back toes under and lift up and find myself in Sumer Asana again, coming back into mountain. here push off the back foot back foot joins the front foot draw down inhale all the way up arch back exhale all the way forward striding all the way back now with the right foot Placing the body weight into the right hand, lifting the left hand to the sky, opening all the way back up, 
Opening the heart space, follow the hand with the gaze. Exhale all the way back down. This time lifting the right hand all the way to the sky, follow it with the gaze. Open up again. Exhale back down. Inhale all the way up now into Chandra, into the moon pose. Feel free to drop the back knee to the floor. Exhale all the way, hands floating all the way back down to the floor. Drop the back knee down now. Push all the way back up, at all, all the way back over the heel and lower the head towards the knee and the floor. Inhale, coming all the way up, popping back up into the equestrian pose again and pushing off the front foot, finding yourself back into Mera Asana, all the way up onto the toes and then exhale, dropping all the way into extended child. Bringing your awareness back to Brahmatya at the eyebrow center again, Three deep inhalations and exhalations with all your focus and concentration at Brahmadiya, the center, right in between the eyes, the third eye area. Concentration is at Brahmatya. 
I'm going to ask you to see a light, a white light. It's like a pinprick of light. It enters the space here and leaves the space. And restrict the glottis slightly thicken through the walls of the throat. Come to the Ujjaya breath. Deep resonating breath. Slight snoring sound. It feels like it's catching, entering and leaving at Vishuddhi at the pit of the throat. Just activate here. But our focus is here at Brahmadhyaya. And we're just going to breathe in and out deep fully focused on Brahmadhyaya, third eye area, the white light and the Ujjayi breath. Thank you. 